So scrolling through all the animes that I've watched on my anime list, not many like scream out like underrated. I'm still cruising on like the mainstream, maybe diving underneath like the shitty unknown anime or like just the barely unknown. But then there's Space Dandy, which I feel really like cracks mainstream, but isn't really talked about that much, especially since it comes from Sinichiro Watanabe, which was the director of Cowboy Bebop and Samurai Champloo, which are considered classics today. But when talking about Space Dandy, it doesn't really get that much credit or recognition, which I feel like is a real shame because Space Dandy gets a lot of things right. I feel like Space Dandy finally cracks down on the formula that Shinichiro Watanabe likes to do with his storytelling and his story overall with these isolated stories of each episode, but there's still this overarching story being told in the background. And I feel like Space Dandy does that to almost near perfection. But starting off with just the main summary of Space Dandy, it's a sci-fi comedy at heart. But there's a lot of other genres that it likes to tackle, but comedy is definitely what its main focus is oriented about, which is the different feel, I feel, for what Sinitra Watanabe likes to do. His comedy is always there, but it's not, it's like pretty few and far between, I feel. It, there's never like that much, like there'll be like a good episode or two that are evolved around comedy, but there's still not that much. Space Dandy is as Moise Critical would like to say, nuts to butts on the comedy. Shit had me laughing pretty much almost every episode, and that's really rare for an anime. The only, like, usually when I watch anime, I usually laugh on how cringy it is, or like how stupid and absurd it can be. Like, High School DxD is fucking hilarious, but for the wrong reasons. Every time I hear an oh, no. Did somebody say not? That shit just gets me wetter than a fucking oyster, and every time fucking my boy Issei is singing about boobs, or Issei just screams out that he wants to touch the tits of his president, is straight fucking classic. But Space Dandy goes for a more smarter way of comedy. Not to really roast the other animes, I just feel like Space Dandy really is smart with its comedy. And also, Space Dandy as a character is one of my favorite of all time. The man loves the ass, and as a man of the ass and the culture, I can respect that. I'm just tired of these black haired protagonists always looking towards the titties. Because as titties are nice, but it's all about the ass, and now I'm all about the ass in this video. <laughs> but Space Dandy has really, really well crafted forms of comedy, and a lot of it I really found enjoyable like at least at one scene of every episode had me like crying out at least once where I feel like in Samurai Shampoo I cried a lot about this baseball episode which was really well done I really loved that episode but Space Dandy had at least one scene that had me cracking up now would have heard a lesser man but I oh, oh. oh I get it you're one of those girls who's like secret hot, right? Ah! When you get home, you need to smack your parents. The characters besides Space Dandy are all right, with uh, QT and Meow being the other crewmates of the Aloha. And and as side characters, they do the job well. Me Meow is just this, uh, he's kind of like an otaku, <laughs> but in space and as a cat, I don't know. And QT is the more of the brains behind the operation, but he's still dumb as hell. But I love how they at least give these characters some backstory with Meow and his family and how he hates his planet and everything. And then QT finding love with a coffee maker, <laughs> which was absurd. And then they have this big ass fight. Dude, Space Dandy has some of these episodes that are just whack as fuck. And I enjoy it. I love it. I love how this bad shit crazy it can get. And especially the ending, man. That shit, like, what? What? Yeah, I'm still wrapping my head around it, but it makes sense with the overarching story and how these characters seem to die in almost every episode, but it doesn't really matter because the ending really explains it, which is brilliant. Where Cowboy Bebop and Samurai Champloo have these just like, oh, I'm still looking for the Sunflower Samurai, or we need to stop this bad organization. And Spike keeps having these flashbacks of the organization and how he wants to kill Vicious and all that. Space Dandy has the answer. And that, he's, he had the chance to become God, and now he ha he's like this ultimate being, and it's fucking beautiful. I love it. 
But Space Dandy overall is a fucking classic. The soundtrack is a bopper. It's very funk oriented, which every series of Sinitro Watanabe's series has their own like distinct soundtrack where Cowboy Bebop was more jazz and Samurai Champloo was more lo-fi hip-hop. Space Dandy is funky as fuck and that shit slaps. The OP, my god. Straight slapper and straight heat. It gets the heat seal of approval. I'm gonna start doing that for every time I review a series. If that series has a fucking banger, it gets the little seal of approval and Space Dandy without a doubt gets the first one i don't really like going too deep into animation because because you can't really say t nothing much about animation especially when it's good it's beside this shit looks pretty or my god that shit looked amazing it's really just the same shit over and over but when i say the animation is different in every episode that's a fucking praise they try so many different art styles that it's amazing and i fucking love it Studio Bones did the fucking holy grail of animation almost over here. Like, every episode is amazing. It's all unique, much like the story it's telling. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. Always like and subscribe. And tell me if you guys watch Space Dandy and how you guys think about it. Personally, I think season one is alright, but season two is like, mwah. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Always like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on whenever I post on this channel and want to support me. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. So, later.